Hi Capricorn, how are you guys doing? I just had to check it's Capricorn. Yeah, it is your reading. Capricorn, how are you doing? This is your single reading for single Capricorns for April 2020. So I'm tired of reading about the exes and this and that and that. I want to see what energies are coming in for everybody. What kind of love is coming in for Capricorn? So I'm calling your spirit guides in. <gasps> Don't burn, Deborah. This charcoal block is really hot. There we go. I'm calling your spirit guides in to my spirit room um, so they can tell us what is coming in for you. Who knows you better than your spirit guides? I also give them the last say in the spirit room, by the way. Um, the last card I draw out is a message to you, um, something you may need to know, something you may need to be aware of, or something they just want to tell you at this time. And um, yeah, let's get into it. By the way, my name is Deborah. This is my channel, Energy of Everything. And let's see what comes out in your energy. If this reading resonates, yeah, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, notification, you know the whole thing. If you want a personal reading, just check in the description box below. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what is coming out in your single guy's energy. What do they have to say about what is going on? They want to drop one million these days. Gee whiz, cars have been flying across the room, literally. It's like, okay, stop. That was quite pronounced. Yo, hello, Capricorn. You have got a strength card that has come out in your energy. Wow, you've been through quite a lot, eh? I just have to anchor breaks before I pull any more cards out. You've been through quite a lot. You've been through quite a lot of stress and I think you could have been a bit worried but there is no need to worry whatever you have come out of whatever you have experienced let me tell you something um you're handling it very very well I feel like there's been stress around you with this card being there I almost feel like there's been a time that you just felt the weight of everything that you're carrying has been too much but out comes the strength card you are so capable of carrying this even though I feel like you got a way to go, I feel like there's something in your energy. It may not even have to do with relationships. I think like you got so much responsibility. What is going on, Capricorn? You are carrying other people in your energy that you are responsible. You could be a mom or even have older parents or just you like everybody. I'm not surprised, Capricorn. That is your guys' energy, by the way. People look to you, the whole family unit, friends, will look to Capricorn and be like, how do we do this? And Capricorn must have an answer. And that's your, and that's a Leo card, by the way. Um, very interesting energy coming through. Um, just be a little bit patient with whatever you're moving through. You are a very strong person. You're very, very capable of actually handling whatever gets thrown at you. Let's have a look now at what it is you need in love. No, no, Capricorn. Listen to me again. Not what you want. Mm -mm. What we want gets us into trouble. Okay, what we need. Oh, big major arcana card coming out. That's really crazy. Yo, Capricorn. We've got two major arcana cards that have popped out now already onto this table. So you ready? I feel like you're ready to takes more steps in your life that involve commitment. Um, you got a judgment card that comes out. You know, I don't think you want, I feel like you're ready to not be single anymore with the judgment card being there. Um, I feel like you need somebody who's in the same energy that you're in. I think you want to be in a couple. <laughs> you're tired of being single. You're tired of doing this alone. It's hard and you don't want to do this anymore. You want this to change. And you need somebody to come in that's in the same kind of energy that you are. Somebody who also is going, you know, I'm ready for commitment. I'm ready for change in my life. I don't, are they, somebody who's looking to the future. You also need, by the way, I'm just saying, somebody who has a positive energy. Somebody who actually doesn't wake up in the morning and is negative nearly. No, you need somebody who's positive, somebody who looks to the future, somebody who wants to grow with you. This is the second time I'm getting this, the, the devil card that comes out. Who did I just read for who had this? Um, Aquarius? Yes, it was Aquarius. Exact same position. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm, you might meet an Aquarius, I'm just saying. So this person 
is very passionate. No wonder. Actually, this is a good match for you. Whomever this is, this is a very good match for you. This could be a very earthy person just like you are. I'm very stable, very focused, works very hard at something that they love. Could be quite a spiritual person, which I think is a bit unusual for you. Um, you may not always go to the spiritual type, but this person is quite focused. They believe in um, what you cannot see. Whoa. Hmm, Capricorn, how interesting is that? They could be a very religious person. They've got a religious belief. Um, they could be a spiritual person, like I said, but I feel like they believe in, like they believe in, like me, I'm calling spirit guides, right? That's what I'm saying. And then this person, they want to put out another card. I felt it from the beginning. You are they focused. This person is established in life. OMG, it's perfect. They perfect for you, Capricorn. They established, they, they're the king of swords energy. Yo, you guys' energy is matching so much. The difference is what I'm seeing here is that they already going somewhere. They're doing something that is so passionate. They're so driven. Almost the whole family of this person can look to them the same way that your family looks to you for answers. But I feel like they, because they're a little bit more established, I almost feel like they are quite, they're more capable of handling certain things and they don't get overwhelmed because of it look at this wow guys how are you going to meet this person omg they're giving three cards you're going to go there <gasps> jeez there's a new beginning coming in for you guys there is no other way you got two two page of cups a page of cups a page of pentacles this is a new person you do not know this person gee whiz whoa you don't know this person it's a new beginning both of you have overcome things, but I feel like they overcame this a while back. You overcoming it now with the strength card, with this justice card. This is something, the, sorry, the ju judgment card. This is something that when you move yourself out of this energy, when you kind of like find your footing, I feel like there's something going on with you at the moment. That's involving this and this, this judgment, this strength card. I feel like you're having a major shift in your life right now. There are things happening to you. Um, is there ending of a cycle here? Whoa. Capricorn. You are actually moving out of a karmic debt. You are paying or you have paid a karmic debt with this, well, no, these cards, with this Eight of Swords being here. Oh my goodness. It's like you were suffocated and restricted from making any move in your life. And all responsibility was put onto you. You couldn't move. This can even be financially. You couldn't make a move. Somebody controlling your behavior. Somebody telling you what to do and what not to do. Um, could be parents. Could be something that's holding you back and it's just like i've got so much responsibility i feel like it's these this people that are making you have the responsibility and making you stuck like this and it is when you step out of this problem i feel like there's an issue going on there's a, it's like suffocation like you can't you have these ideas of what you want to do how you want to do it how you want to move forward but you can't and it's like other people are telling you what to do and then you can't do it and you get stuck or they tell you your idea is not going to work or it's something of that vein and it's like you meet this person and this person can tell you stories about how they managed to do it how they can tell you you know you can do this you can get out of this you can actually do what you think you're doing. They, this person I feel, okay, you have to listen. Whatever it is that you are interested in, if you are studying, if you are working, if you want to open a business, I feel like they've got understanding of what you do, of what you want to do, of where you want to go, 
of the success that you want to attract into your life. Wow, this is quite a reading, hey? And they can even like advise you on steps that you can take to reach your goal. Whoa, this is quite amazing. This could be somebody who did get their degree and got the job of their dreams and you're still trying to do that. And they're going to turn around and say, you, need, you can do it. You can do it because if I can do it, you can do it. You know, or they've already started the business that is quite similar to yours, or even if it's not a similar business, because it mustn't be competition, obviously, but it's like they did succeed in whatever their choice of field is, and they're advising you that you can as well. They're almost going to lift up these restrictions. They're going to open your mind. This is very interesting. OMG. Um, I feel like this is a person that you can even go to for advice and talk to. And they could be more mature than you or older than you. And they give you, I honestly going to tell you something here. Um, this person, whoa, Capricorn, they've got, they've got it all in their life. They've got everything in their life. You know, they're stable. They, they've already got to the point where they're reaching their goals. They're working on new goals. They've succeeded in a lot of different things here. Um, could come from a big family as well, just saying. A lot of extended family, everyone. And they're well known in their family for being the roots, you know. Um, they have all of this, but they don't have a partner. They don't have love. When they meet you, you bring out this page of cups energy within them. So they just see you as somebody who they can bring into their life and it makes their world fulfilled. And wow, this is very beautiful. I like this a lot. Um, how you approach them is their stability, their focus, their, it's almost like their, their, their wiseness, their advice, how they see the world, what they've experienced what they can offer you because of that experience, the help they can give you with regards to this and this and this, the way they can show you a new path is what makes you fall for them. Wow, I love this reading, Capricorn. Sure, this is something that you guys need so much because you guys are earth sign. You need someone that is as grounded as you are. And I feel like there's an unfair kind of thing happening with you right now. There's something that's got to do with um, how much people put onto you. It's like somebody is expecting you to be able to help. It's like your whole, I'm just going to use an example. This may not be your situation. It's like your whole family keeps turning to you for financial help, but you don't have the finances to give them, but they keep asking. And then you try to get the finances to give them, but it causes you to be there. Everybody's calling you, help me, help me, help me, help me. And you keep giving of yourself to everyone, but no one's helping you. But when this person comes in, they can offer you that. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Capricorn, I love this. this you guys are actually my last reading for the week. Unless I have a personal tonight, you will see. And, and uh, this is a beautiful way to end my week, Capricorn. Spirit guide message. They've already made me notice this card. <gasps> oh, gee, it's another security card. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is a relationship they want to tell you that is going to grow. And it's not going to be a fast moving relationship. Um, it's going to take... It's going to grow in its own time, which is actually very positive. They're like, you know what? The security that you've been missing and the extra, it's like they give you an extra foot to stand on. You know, it's like you've been standing alone and this person comes in and helps you to grow. And they're going to do it in such a way, by the way, that they don't overpower you. They're going to advise and step back and watch from the outside and watch you grow. Isn't that beautiful? Um, wow, this person is actually going to allow you to have your dreams, allow you to do what you want to do, which I feel has been missing here. Everybody else around here is not letting you do what you want. They want you to do what they want. And this person is completely different. This is like a breath of fresh air coming into this reading. This person allows you to do what you want. 
and they even help you um, to strategically plan your life in the future to actually be able to climb this ladder of success. And it's like they can mentor you in the direction that you need to go in. And they step back and they watch you grow. And it's like they're proud of you. They look at you and go, yeah, damn, I'm so glad that this is happening for you. I'm so glad to see this in your life. And you get so busy, you're busy, but they're always in the background watching watching, watching, watching. If they see you making a mistake, they're like, ah, stop. Um, I think you should try this because I know I've done that. It doesn't work. Don't do that. And that is such a, this is a very mature, very positive energy coming in. And that's, imagine what you needed. You need this positive energy. It's like your prayers have been answered. There's another thing with this card that's coming out. I must, before I end and tell you, you actually, I don't think I mentioned it. You are, I'm not going to say, I don't want to say it in such a way that it seems mean or seems like, but why, you know what I mean? But it's almost like you're paying a karmic price. You're paying a karmic debt. All of this, you see this unfair kind of treatment towards you, the weight that you carry, it's karma. Don't look at it like your enemy. Heal it, send it love, accept it and carry it. That's the strength. Because when you do that, when you don't fight that karma that you have to carry and heal and move on from, you don't actually move on. And you recreate the same karmic cycle again somewhere else in the future. You understand? So accept this weight. Look at that. Be strong. Carry it. Understand how they make you feel. And judgment. I mean, just as this, this card is just very good. It is going to actually... Uh, come out in your way it is going to be the way it is meant to be unfolding for you because this is a it's almost like you have to finish this cycle and you're doing it pretty well spirit guides are like yes you handling it very very well i feel like the cycle is going to end very soon for you guys there is a new energy coming in both of you Oh, you know, it's like what is missing in their life, they find in you. What is missing in your life, you find in them. Isn't that absolutely beautiful, Capricorn? I love this reading so much. I am going to end it. Is there anything else they wish to say? I feel like they're holding on for something. What? What is it now? <laughs> they're like, wait a minute. There is something. What do you want to say? There's something extra. If you're giving you extra, they're supersizing your reading. Oh, wow. It's just a confirmation. This is just crazy. Oh, spirit guides, you guys really blow my mind. Ten of Wands energy. Capricorn, you have no idea <laughs> what on earth. This is the weight that you carry. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at this. This is the ending of your karmic cycle this is a 10 a 10 leaves the cycle you're doing it so well you are carrying all of it with the strength card and i think spirit guys just wanted to take they said take another card please just take another card it's almost like they want to prove something to you and they're doing it with this <laughs> um you carrying all of that from everyone around you but you can do it because you have the strength card you taking all of these ones you ending a karmic cycle it's like you've been paying it off, you know, and you're carrying this and you're going to put this down and you're beginning a new cycle in life. This is coming in very, very soon. You know what, um, what they're saying to me right now? It's very interesting. They say, don't hate this. Don't hate the ones that you're carrying. This is what this now we're getting to the message. This is the most important. That's why they asked me to draw another card. Do not hate the cycle. Do not hate the karma. Do not feel like a victim. Do not feel like it's unfair to you. It's making you who you meant to be. This is a blessing in disguise. What you're carrying, what you've been restricted, how you have to feel like you're even overwhelmed at times because you're ending something that involves not even this lifetime, Capricorn. It involves previous lifetimes. Wow. It involves generational karma. You have been chosen to heal it. Wow, Capricorn. They say these ones that you carry that are so heavy is not your burden, but your blessing. 
because what will come from them it's like you're taking these ones you think they are your burden and just look at this card underneath here this knight of pentacles is actually carrying a wand over there you take these ones it's like these ones become your tool of the future it's making you who you are today they say that you will take these ones you will put them down but instead of putting them down and walking away you take the very same weight that you have carried and you build your castle from them because they become your unbelievable strength this is just wow wow i love love and spirit guides do this this is beautiful 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 you are being molded into who you are meant to be right now it is not a burden but a blessing you are being taken somewhere you are being led and you are succeeding you have succeeded because you're at the 10 of breaking karma that has been with you for lifetimes with you in your family and you are breaking some huge cycle you are the first in your family to do this what I can tell you, I understand what I'm talking about right now. I've seen this before from a spiritual point of view. You are going to be granted a blessing and a gift after you have left the Ten of Wands, which you are doing right now. The blessing you get is a gift from spirit, a gift from the universe. And it is something you will not believe, like it will blow your mind where this is going for you it is really remember this please you're going to remember this reading i promise you in a year from now it's not long i feel like it's now i feel like a year within a year you're going to see something happen and you're going to remember me saying you'll be given a gift you'll be given a blessing for what you have done and because you've not only released karma for yourself but you've released karma for generations of your family and your past lives which people that you have been interacting with that you may even know in this life this person coming in will could even be somebody from a past life coming in and because you have healed something they can move into your energy while we capricorn the strongest reading is yours this this month in the singles reading it is cray cray i'm just saying very I almost feel a little bit overwhelmed by your spirit guides, I have to say. They're very, very, you know, just like this, you know, and they want you to know this. It's very important that you know this. So, wow, Capricorn, I'm sending you all my light, all my love. Congratulations. You've worked very, very hard. Good luck, you guys. Bye.